Look at the camera. What about it? <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peeps. After that uh, very hilarious assault, um, today we're gonna be starting to try and figure out our wiring. So we have our electrical conduit on there, and we need to finalize where we want to run the wires. So what we've got here is uh, obviously some conduit, uh, measuring devices, a pencil, and my brand new van sketch of the wall so we can actually make uh, notes roughly where things are going. So I think the most important thing to address first is why do you need conduit in a van? Because the wires are already protected with their little rubber casings. Well, the main reason is because in a van, as you're driving along, all the wires are vibrating all over the place. And as wires rub up against, you know, that rubber rubs up against this metal, eventually it starts to wear away. And if it wears away enough, then the metal inside is exposed to the metal in the van. That can cause a short at best or an electric shock at worst. It's just good protection to have. So the majority of wires are going to go down this wall. Uh, because, you know, there's no pesky door in the way and such. Um, and also... Oh, this is a very stressful video for me. A few issues with uh, running wires all the way down through the cavities. Uh, there's actually solid beams here. So I've seen people uh, drill through them with uh, hole saws, which I guess is an option. It's a bit tricky and uh, I don't know about the structural integrity of that sort of move. In the bottom cavities you have more depth because, uh, uh, you know, as, as the van climbs it, it becomes narrower. So you have more space here for, for, for the pipe. Of course you still hit the wall there, but you have a bit more space to drill. The problem occurs at the wheel arch. <laughs> you have about, probably about 10 centimeters to get through. So there's a wall here and a, a dual skin on this side as well. Then you have a clear space then another wall and then a clear path. So what we're trying to establish is how far this conduit can travel up because if you get your hand in here so like like that if you can see my finger sort of poking in like here this is where I'm touching right now see <laughs> that's where I am so the problem is so far all right so we reach here perfect all right now, we've seen people run their conduit all the way up sometimes. However, the channel really, really thins down because there's actually a wall, a brace wall here that thins it. So, if I try and just push it in, it's, not going it's up. definitely not going. So, that wall here also means that you can't run it through this cavity because it's a nice big cavity here, very open until you reach these braces and you can't drill through these braces. Ponder, 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 ponder some more. Be back with you in a sec. All right, layout. So where do we want whatever we want? So plugs, appliances, stuff like that. I need masking tape. layout on this wall marked out uh, now where should we put our plugs and appliances so here at the couch uh, naturally we need a fair amount of plugs because we, we work you know from home okay, so the majority of our electrical uh, setup is going to live here behind the couch in those extra magical 15 17 centimeters found uh, there do you think two 12 volt and two usbs or more than that you could have one over by this side of the door so in theory if you wanted to like you're just sitting chilling outside just outside you can plug into the extension here and then one i guess maybe somewhere along the wall here yeah that would be good so, sort of to ensure that you can take any working position you know legs that way legs the other way where are you going i'm getting some different color tape and stick it like that so we know what it means one there and then one apparently that means what 12 volt usb socket so if we're having cupboards up here, 
in terms of lighting, I mean, I know we're going to have lights on the ceiling, but we can run, we like the idea of LED strips. So let's run an LED strip underneath this cupboard. What do you think? Yeah, okay. So the lengthways highway, we decided to run on the bottom to run together with the heating vents uh, instead of drilling through the braces of the, you know, of the van. Yeah, now the majority of our electronics are on like the bottom third anyway, so it makes sense for us to run the highway further down rather than up, and going through this pillar is pretty much impossible. And then for the electronics that need to be at the top, we'll just run a few vertical highways of conduit up and feed the wires through there that need to be so. So we have our plan here with us, so we uh, don't mess up too badly. Uh, and for the time being, we're going to use zip ties to uh, secure the bottom conduit on the floor. It's important that it is removable because the floor is not done. We will be screwing it down, also like putting more flooring on it. Right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up in there, and then this is gonna split off. One going up, and one coming out for the oven and the fridge here at the back. We need to run this conduit up through this gap here, and it needs to poke out the side here in order to continue its way round. However, there's not a hole big enough for the conduit to actually come out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drill a hole big enough for the conduit to come out here. <laughs> it works. Can you see anything? Not yet. Now. Alright, and then we just... There you go. Conduit's <laughs> poking out. cables through if we wanted to run any more lines is just poke it off this end it will follow the conduit all the way around and come out the other end rather than us having to fiddle around trying to feed it through this gap in it getting caught uh, now there's a nice easy smooth transition tube for the wires to run through yeah, obviously d d d don't say it's easy until you've tried it should be easy so we were having to think about this conduit here um, because all of our wires that run to the back of the van have to run through this. We don't think this conduit's going to be wide enough to contain all the wires. So we're definitely going to run conduit through here and up because there's only a couple of wires that run to the back. But from like this point towards the front, there'll be too many. So we're probably not going to have conduit here. We're probably just going to create like a section in combined with where our heating duct is going. Our heating duct is going to run uh, here along this line. And then when it gets to the kitchen, uh, either it goes over the wheel arch or it goes uh, under. Front. We'll pull that out but leave the zip ties because we can run a cable through the zip ties until we have a compartment built. Right. conduits in I guess we get to run our uh, DC wires so this is the wire that we've chosen so it's four and a half mil duly insulated double cable so it's got the positive and the negative in one cable itself which is really handy which means you don't have to run two sets of wires for absolutely everything Jeff needs power poor Jeff <laughs> we need tape okay tape tape because if we run 15 cables through this conduit we're not going to know which one connects to what I know, yeah, so labels guys, labels. labels. Uh, where did their tape box go? Oh, yeah.
<laughs> Guys, I suggest you build your flow conduit before you start unraveling this, because then you get this. What am I touching again? wiring so far. I will not be picking it as a career anytime soon. Put it in through that. It's come down there. It's a bit too long. It's come out there and now it's gonna go up to there. Look. Wonderful. Look. Stunning. Good job. Good job. Shake hand. Good job. Right, so we've got a little bit of cable left, but probably not enough to run everything. However, we do need to think about our lighting situation because we don't know how switches work and how to run multiple ones on one circuit. So we need to have a think about that, a bit more research. But all the major things are done. So we've got the fridge, the oven, all the plug sockets all run with this cable here. And we only started running the cable through now so that when we start doing the insulation, which will be pretty much next video, we didn't want to block anything off. So we make sure that all the runs and where the wires are going are good and they're not going to get messed up by us putting insulation in that spot which they aren't so finally we can put jeff to good use hi jeff hi jeff how you doing stylish yeah. 